Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the coin collection that got me started in coin dealing and that really changed my life. Let's get this video started. So a lot of us watching this channel have been 18 or are 18 at this point in our lives and we didn't really know what we wanted to do in life, right? And so, you know, I went through high school and I was doing, you know, odds and end jobs at restaurants. And then I went through college and I still really didn't know what to do. And so I kind of took a meaningless route, in my opinion, of business and business management. And I didn't really know it was, if it was for me or not. And then, uh, Basically, towards the end of my junior year, we went to go visit our, my grandparents, and we ended up buying a collection from them. Uh, and we're in this video, we're going to be showing you guys a little bit of that collection, give you guys just a little bit of the backstory of it. So when all these things kind of combinate and culminate together, I mean, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And so when I, like I said, when I went to my grandparents' house, I bought that coin collection. It really gave me a spark, an inspiration to do something possibly different with my life. And so, you know, the way I thought about life before going to my grandparents' house and buying that collection was, you're, you're going to go through school, you're going to stay, you know, don't do drugs, all that kind of stuff. You're going to get a job that's kind of, uh, you know, it'll pay the bills, you'll save money, you'll work 50 years, and then you'll retire, and then you'll die. And that's basically all I thought of life before buying that collection. And then that when, I, when I bought it, I thought of it, it was, it was almost like a spark or it really gave me kind of something to enjoy and, as a passive time. And then once the pandemic hit, I really got into buying and selling coins a lot. And so it was a really transformational time for me because I thought of instead of, you know, choosing the right decisions sometimes in life and choosing the decisions that are the safest really didn't make me any more happy about what I wanted to do. And so sometimes for you in your life, you're going to have to choose the route that's not the safest for your enjoyment, but also for your legacy. And so I'm going to show you guys, like I said, we just, we're going to show you some coins, but the main purpose of me talking about my life and my story is that ultimately when I die, I want my kids not to only be financially stable and me give them a type of financial gift, but also to give them the gift of legacy and the gift of chasing someone else, chasing your dream. And so I think a lot of that right now is, is being missed and overshadowed by school and what, what people should do during college. I think there's a lot of people right now that are going to college that don't know what they want to do. And then at the end of the day, they end up giving up on their dream. And so my, my real goal of doing all this, of buying this collection and of being a coin dealer in general is to tell my kids that I followed what I wanted to do and I was successful at it. And so if you guys are struggling today, if you guys are in somewhere where you don't want to be, I would suggest working towards uh, a solution to make your life more enjoyable and make it more uh, lasting because uh, the thing about with a quote that I heard the other day was, um, if you expect your kids to fight, like, so say if they have a struggle in their life, if they have to fight obesity, or if they have to fight, uh, not following their dreams, or if they have to fight cancer, or if they have to fight all these different things, but you never really fought in your life for anything. If you never fought for what you wanted out of life, you never fought for your health, you never fought for all these different things, why, how do you expect them to fight? And so... What I would say to you is that it's good to start fighting now so that your kids and their kids will know who you are and will know what you wanted out of life. So I hope this is an inspiration to you guys. So this is the coin collection, three medicine bottles. And if you take a look at each one, I mean, there's just some interesting stuff in each one. I'm about to open them all up and get, give you guys a look. But it was something small, something that most collectors that are very serious nowadays wouldn't really, you know, be attached to unless it was something that was very sentimental. But like I said, let me show you guys a little bit of these coins and uh, just give you the perspective of when I was holding these for the very first time. So this is the first collection that I've ever purchased. This collection is from my grandma's house. Um, she had it basically in an old green tote 
Uh, one day she asked if I wanted to take a look at it. I think it was as some kind of pastime, just something uh, interesting to look at. And so I ended up looking through it all and I asked her if I could buy it because I thought, uh, you know, if they pass away one day, I just don't want this to be outside the family or someone come pick it up and take it to like somewhere to get melted. I just wanted this to be in the family. And a lot of these coins are something that aren't that special, right? Take a look at this Franklin half dollar 1957. You know, it's just a coal, coal uh, half dollar. Take a look at something else, you know, get this 22 piece dollar, all beaten up, rim dings and stuff like that. But unequivocally, this is the, this is the greatest collection that, I, the greatest part of my collection, the collection that I would really never get rid of because of just everything that's attached to it. A lot of these coins were picked up while my grandma worked at a supermarket. She took, she would take these out of the drawer and she would exchange them for her pay and she took them home and saved them. And so, um, a lot of these things sometimes are overlooked by a lot of people, you know, when someone passes away or, uh, when you really get to take a look at everything that someone has. But I think that the great thing about numismatics is that we're also not only carrying on the legacy of our country, but the legacy of our ancestors um, and so I hope you guys you know take a look at these coins they're just nothing special they're pretty cool and something that I'll always cherish and uh, thank you guys for watching this part of the video let's get back to uh, talking to you guys a little bit about our story and mo a lot of times people don't end up telling you what their dreams buy are buying them and what does that really mean right so when you take this risk, when you take an opportunity in your life to follow something that you enjoy and that makes you excited when you get up in the morning, there's a few things that are actually perks, right? There's the, you know, doing it yourself, there's a figuring it out yourself, but also I learned that you have to start to correct other areas in your life if you want your coin business or anything that you really do in your life to be successful. I mean, we've been eating better, me and Casey. We've been uh, going to the gym every single day if we can. Um, we've been uh, constantly be figuring out how to get better and do better and uh, better ways to save money, um, thinking about the future. A lot of things are benefits of chasing your dream. And there's a lot of things that you don't get when you don't chase your dream. When you choose that easier path, sometimes it, it makes for decisions that are very comfortable and that ultimately will leave you with regret. So don't live with regret, live with some hard decisions and make sure that you wake up every day enjoying what you do. Um, I don't know where we're putting the coins in this video, I don't know uh, what you guys heard, but uh, this collection really started it all off. It was nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but it really did give me uh, my wings to fly. And so I thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for following our journey. Thank you guys for just giving us the, uh, the time in your day. So uh, we'll see you guys uh, in the next video. We're going to be going to TNA tomorrow. And so we hope to see you guys there. If you guys are in the Arlington area, we really, uh, we bought a table. We bought all of our coins. We want to have a good time, have a good weekend. And we hope you see you there. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video if we don't see you at Arlington.